Kagatsuchi, the infamous ill-fated god from Japanese Shinto mythology, Kagatsuchi was solely a god of fire. His parents were the creation god, Izanagi, and his wife, the creation and eventual goddess of the dead, Izanami. During his birth, his immense fire burnt Izanami and she died of her wounds. In anger, his father Izanagi killed Kagatsuchi and cut him into eight pieces. Eight further gods spawned from his blood and remains. Japanese emperors feared this fiery tale of Kagatsuchi and ordered ceremonies at their palace to honor and appease him. Black Lord Black Lord, also known as Hasazini, is a Navajo and Pueblo deity associated with fire. He is said to have created and taught humans how to use sacred sticks that create fire, known to us as a fire drill. Seen as a cantankerous old man, Black Lord is worshipped by the Navajo during a time of drought to calm his wrath. Loji Loji, though sometimes confused with the trickster god Loki, was actually the Norse Jotun god and personification of fire. In the tale of Utgard Loki, Thor and Loki venture to a giant's castle and Loki enters an eating competition. He manages to quickly make the food on his plate disappear, but his opponent, Loji, eats everything much more quickly, including the food, the bones, and the trough. They later learn that Loji is the literal embodiment of fire, meaning he can devour everything in sight, rapidly. Surt. Another Jotun from Norse mythology, Surt is a flame giant associated with fire. The fearsome, dark-skinned ruler of the wild realm of fire, Muspelheim, Surt wields a giant flaming sword. During the final battle of the gods in Ragnarok, the inevitable end of the world in Norse mythology, it is said that Surt will use his fire sword to defeat the Vanir god, Freyr, who gave away his own sword. Atar. In Zoroastrian mythology, Atar is the son of the supreme creator god Ahura Mazda and is the god or Yazada of fire. In one story, he battled the fiendish, three-headed dragon Azi Dahaka over the right to divine glory and defeated him. The Persians believe that Atar's fires bring warmth and purification in rituals. Ad Anna, a mysterious goddess from Turkic mythology, Ad Anna symbolizes fire and marriage. She is depicted most often with long white hair dressed in red silk. Both the Chuvash people and the Buryat people believe that this feminine deity has a male counterpart, Atesh Atta. NG. NG, also known as N, represented fire and the day of the week, Thursday, in Albanian mythology. He is known as the Blind One, and due to increasing Christian influence in Albanian culture, he was denounced as a demon, and his followers were told that if they were to invoke his name, he would blind the worshippers with his mighty flames. Brigid. Brigid, known by many names in Celtic mythology, is the goddess of fire, healing, and fertility. In some myths, she is described as being two-faced, ugly on one side, but beautiful on the other. According to legend, the Celts were so dedicated to Brigid that the Christian church couldn't dissuade them from worshipping her, so turned her into a Christian saint, Saint Brigid, who in Irish mythology became midwife to the Virgin Mary. Shango. The awesome Yoruba god or Orisha, Shango was primarily associated with thunder and lightning, but was also a god of fire, justice, and dance. It was said that when he spoke, smoke billowed and fire spat out of his mouth and that his eyeballs were like coals of fire. One of the most interesting tales regarding Shango was surrounding his creation as a deity. He was originally the third Alephin, or king of Oyo. One day, his warlord generals, Timi and Bonka, became a threat to Shango. He had the two battle, and Bonka cut off Timi's head, throwing it at Shango. So Shango ordered him to be burnt by flames, probably by using his thunderstones, known as Edungara, which granted him his elemental powers. Bonko managed to survive the flames, so Shango left in shame. When he returned, he came as a god in the sky, destroying Bonko with his thunder and lightning. Gugurong. Gugurong of Bikolano mythology is the supreme deity in the pantheon and a god of volcanoes and their fire. He was seen as a loving god, but with a temper. If the ancient Bikol people of the Philippines saw a volcano erupting, they would do a food sacrificial ritual known as a tong to appease him. Hephaestus. Probably one of the best known gods of fire, Hephaestus and his Roman counterpart Vulcan was god of blacksmiths, fire, and volcanoes. Hephaestus's birth is a subject of debate, but he was handicapped, walking with a limp, and was probably thrown from Mount Olympus, 
Some stories say this is because Hera tossed him down after seeing his deformity, and others say Zeus was to blame. He is a hardworking but unfortunate god, often described as ugly. He married Aphrodite who was very unfaithful, including with his own brother Ares. In another example of Hephaestus's rotten luck, he had his fire stolen from his forge and given to mankind by the titan Prometheus, who came to pay for it later. Svarojits The pan-Slavic deity known as Svarojits mainly represents fire, but also symbolized the sun and hearth. His father is known as Svarog, a fire and blacksmith god similar to the Greek Hephaestus. In fact, so similar are the two that many scholars believe that Svarog was just another name for Hephaestus, and that Svarojits was the only true Slavic fire god. Gera Gera, known as Gibel to the Sumerians, is a Mesopotamian god of fire and light. Like many Mesopotamian gods, he is a mysterious figure and no representations tell us what he looks like, but it has been suggested he carries a torch. Shutakutli Shutakutli is the major Aztec deity most strongly associated with fire, volcanoes, and time. As we discussed in our Thunder Gods video, in Aztec belief there are five ages represented by suns, and the present age is the current sun, which was said to be ruled by Sihutakutli, which he will eventually destroy in a torrent of earthquakes and fire. He is said to have a female counterpart, Chantiko, who is more associated with the fire in the hearth. Suri an enigmatic Etruscan god, Suri's domains are over fire, thunder, volcanoes, and the underworld. Nobody knows much about this god, even his gender has been questioned, but he has possible links to the Greek sun god, Apollo. Tatawari Tatawari is a North American deity from Huichol mythology who is considered the god of fire. The indigenous Huichol people primarily come from western Mexico. Tatawari is the deity they refer to as Grandfather Fire and the patron of shamans, so they dedicate their fire rituals to him. Aganju Said by some to be either the Yoruba god Shango's twin brother or his father, Aganju was the god of volcanoes and deserts. He was particularly revered in the Santeria religion in Cuba, which was an offshoot of the Yoruba religion that emerged because of the transatlantic slave trade. He is said to be a great giant of an Orisha with a fiery temper, but also uses fire as a cleansing force and a force for change. Where his volcanoes erupt, new growth can spring. Harakan Harakan is a Quiche Maya storm god who represents fire, water, wind, lightning, and all that encompasses storms. The Mayans were and are a diverse group of peoples with varying beliefs. Huracan is a god of the Quiche Maya who occupy Guatemala. Other Mayan groups didn't worship him. He is said to have helped in the creation of the world. But he also destroyed the second attempt at creating humans with great floods when they were deemed too wooden. Shulawitzi. The Native American Zuni tribe that are native to the Zuni River Valley believe in Shulawitzi, a god of fire. Known as the little god of fire, Shulawitzi is often depicted as a young man or boy with flame torches. The Zuni deities are said to meet in a ceremony known as the Council of Gods, and it is Shulawitzi's job to light a fire, marking the start of this important meeting. Zhu Rong The famous deity from Chinese mythology known as Zhu Rong had domain over fire. Zhu Rong had many titles, among them the Divine Lord of Fire and the Governor of Fire. The Chinese believe that he taught humans how to build fires to scare off wild animals. His rival, the destructive black dragon and water god, Gong Gong, one day challenged him to a duel to prove who was the most powerful. They battled in heaven for several days, Zhurong accompanied by his flying tiger, and Gong Gong aided by his multi-headed snake. Zhurong eventually won, throwing Gong Gong out of heaven. The crybaby Gong Gong then decided to run headfirst into Mount Buzhu out of frustration, ending his life in the process. The mountain split open and started a huge flood and fires, causing great catastrophe. Nayale Nayale is a goddess of the Bambara people of Mali, representing fire. The creator god in Bambara belief, Bemba, is the supreme being made of four other gods. Bemba, the air god, Faro, the water goddess, the earth god, Endomajiri, and our fire goddess, Nayale. All of these gods made up the single god, Bemba, the god of all elements. Think of it a little like the Holy Trinity in Christianity, or like Ang the Avatar. Masa. 
The Native American Hopi deity Masa is a god associated with fire and death. Some fire gods are a destructive force. Other flame deities like Masa use their fire as a gift to humanity. He went by many names including Skeleton Man, due to his connection to the underworld, and Fire Keeper. Masa gets his fiery abilities from the sun, which powers the fire in the underworld, warming up the earth and erupting through volcanoes. Lempo Another mysterious god, this time from Finnish mythology, is Lempo the goddess of love and fire. Originally, Lempo was probably worshipped for fertility and seen as a good deity. But eventually, with the growing influence of Christianity, Lempo became seen as more of an evil demon. Pele One of the most interesting fire gods in all of mythology is the Hawaiian deity of fire and volcanoes, Pele. Pele was renowned for her beauty, but also her fiery temper. She was believed to have lived inside the volcano Kilauea along with her family. Because of her short fuse, she fought with many of the other Polynesian deities including her husband, the god of agriculture, Kamapuea, battling with him often. Probably her most interesting conflict was with the snow goddess, Poliahu, who lives atop the snow-covered mountain to the north, Mauna Kea. The two entered a sledding race, and when Pele was angered that she wasn't easily winning, she shook the earth and burst forth lava. Poliahu retreated to the top of the mountain and sent her snow to cool the lava, which hardened and turned into a cavern at the bottom of the mountain, forever dividing the two territories. The north of Hawaii where Poliahu lived, free of volcanic activity and the south, the volcanic half ruled by Pele. Vahagan Vahagan comes from Armenian mythology, and though his domains are debated, many believe him to be the god of war, fire, and the sun. At birth, he was described as having a beard made of flames, and hair made from scorching flames with eyes that shone like the sun. An important Armenian god, he is seen as a force for light and good, and is often seen slaying dragons who represent dark and evil, so much so that his nickname was the Dragon Reaper and a statue was dedicated to him in the capital of Armenia, Yerevan. Agni Agni, one of the three chief gods in the Hindu Rig Veda, was the god and personification of fire. This celebrated god is depicted as a muscular man, with red skin, and often two heads. Though sometimes three, there are different interpretations, but many say one head represents the warmth and light of fire, or immortality, and the other side, power of fire or life. His birth is a bit of a mystery, with many different stories depending on the source. Some say he is the son of the creator god, Brahma. Others say he was born to Aditi, a mother goddess, and the sage Kashyapa. In the Vedas, he is one of the three great deities who ruled the cosmos. Agni ruled earth alongside Indra the lightning god, who ruled the air, and Surya the solar deity who ruled the sky. Agni is seen as a messenger of the gods, because he can easily travel between the physical world and the heavens. Sekhmet Though the Egyptian goddess Sekhmet is most often associated with war, plague, and healing, it is possible she was also seen as a goddess of fire. A goddess with the head of a lion, often with a sun disk on top, she was born from the flames of the sun god Ra's eye. She was also able to breathe fire, and did exactly that when she was ordered by Ra to slaughter humans for being disrespectful to him, and would later also be said to breathe her fire to protect Egypt. Sholot A god of many things, Sholot was predominantly the Aztec god of fire, lightning, and death. He was pictured with the body of a man and head of a dog. Probably because of this, the Aztecs believed that dogs brought fire to humanity. Despite this, they saw dogs as filthy animals. Sholot is particularly associated with the idea of heavenly fire. And at night, he guides the sun through Miklan, the Aztec underworld ruled by Miklantecutli. Thanks so much for watching.